Hi, this is Marie, World Peace Knits, episode 58. And this is one of my makes videos where I show all the projects I've been working on, the knit and crochet projects. So let's get started. Well, welcome back if you're a returning viewer and welcome if you're new. So the very first project that I have for you is um, this shawl by Andrea Mowry. It is called the Night Shift Shawl. I love it. I um, saw it on another YouTube channel called the Fourth Star Knits, I believe. And so she recommended using two skeins of Noro. And so I got two skeins of Noro Akari, um, colorway number 23 and 25. And I also had this other skein in my stash. This one is Noro um, Silk Garden Sock Solo, and it's color number S1, if you're looking for that. I love this one. So I thought I would just add this one to the shawl as well. So this is how it's coming out. It's like a slip stitch um, shawl and I love it. I It has um, a, a 40 row repeat, and so this is um, to mark the first 40 rows, and this is the second 40 rows, and the third 40 rows. And I haven't memorized the 40 row repeat pattern yet, and so what I did was I just made myself like a little, um, like a checklist, so that I could check off when I get uh, each one of the the steps done or the uh, rows done and then um, you repeat it nine times so hopefully by then I have it memorized <laughs> but if I don't I can just check off the boxes as I go so I really love how it's coming out it's super cute all right and so the next project that I have is these shorty socks and they are super cute. I decided I had two balls of this uh, Gumi 50 in my stash, and I thought I'd like to make a, um, a pair of socks with just one 50 gram ball and see if I could do it uh, in my size. And I wear a size 12 woman's, so I was able to do it. And I had just this much left, so, and I used a um, contrast heel, and I just used a scrap from my uh, from my stash, and I love how they turned out. They they are not matching, but um, but I wanted to see if I could get, you know, a pair of shorty socks from the 50 gram ball, and so basically I did a 64 stitch cast on. I knit just a little bit, and then I cut in the heel. And I love how they turned out. And this yarn is really nice. It's a little bit toothy, but I think it will last a long time. It will wear really well. All right, so the next thing that I have is uh, the Summer Lace Top. And so there is the designer's name, Martina. And I'll let you read that. This is what it looks like. I thought it was so cute. It's a crochet pattern. It I used a size uh, 4.5 hook, and I'm just I'm still working on it. And I'm using um, this Ice Yarns Pastels, and it's called Pastel Cotton. It's uh, orchid pink, gold, and cream. And I'll go ahead and link this down below in the notes if you're looking for it. So this is how it's turning out. It's like a super easy crochet, but I put it to the side when I started working on that shawl. So, <laughs> But this is how it's looking. It's really fun to, to work on and it's an easy crochet. I just kind of got sidetracked. So I'll let you know what this turns out like. It's super fun to work on though. Okay, and so the next thing that I have is this striped bag. So this bag is, uh, I made a video uh, tutorial for it. I had a lady ask me if I could make a video tutorial on it because the directions were um, just 
they were like a translated copy and it was um, just kind of like leaving you guessing on some of the steps and what you should do. So I just uh, made a video for her and I asked Perot um, Yarns if I could do it and they said yeah. But I asked permission for sure. And um, so the pattern was called Crochet Striped Bag. 29 to 10 44 by Perot Yarns and this is what it came out like and it's a lined bag I love how it came out so I'm gonna go ahead and link the video up above and then I'll link it down below in the notes but I think you will love to crochet this so it's just a big granny square and then you add some extra you know, stitches onto it to make it a bag. So it's so cute and it was, it's a super fun crochet project. And I could see making that, you know, with fall colors or Christmas colors or whatever, or whatever your favorite colors are. So, okay. Uh, the next project that I have for you is a hat. And so for this hat, I used Fresh Sheets Mohair by a homespun house, and I used Gage Dye Works. Let me see if I have the color written down. Twinkle. So that, that's what I used. And so here is the mohair. It's just a white mohair, undyed. And then um, this is the Gage Dye Works. It's a self-striping. And I held those two together. So one strand of each, and I knit this hat. Um, so this is just a beanie, just a standard beanie pattern, and I love it. So this is what it looks like. I cast on 108 stitches. I did a two by two rib, and then I made the ribbing like super long. And I love it. I love these um, where you hold a sock strand of yarn and a mohair strand together. They're so nice and warm in the winter, but light. So I love this hat. So what I did was I made a, uh, a beanie tutorial. And so if you want to follow along, I'm going to show the beanie next. I'm going to show the beanie later on in the video. But this is the same pattern. I just did like a longer um, ribbing. Oh my gosh. I did um, six inches of ribbing for this hat and I used the two strands. I did a uh, cast on of 108. I used size five needles for the ribbing and I used size six needles for the body of the hat. So it is super cozy. It'll be really nice this winter. Okay, so the next thing that I have is um, a Scrappy Granny Triangle Shawl. So I had made one of these, um, and I ended up in the last video, I ended up giving it away as a gift. And so I wanted to make one for myself, really to replace like an older shawl that I had, um, that I had been loving and using and wearing all the time and so I wanted to replace it and uh, make myself another one so I gave the other one as a gift and I made this one <laughs> so this one I used tons of minis and I love how it came out and so this is just the scrappy granny um, triangle crocheted shawl and then I put a little edge on it. I didn't put tassels on this one. I had tassels on the one I showed last um, makes video, but I love how it turned out. I did put like a little um, crocheted edge in the hot pink on this one. And I just used tons of scraps and I made it really big. So I love it. So this is how it looks. It's just super cute. It's gonna be super fun to wear this fall and winter. So, all right. So the next project that I have 
is a hat. So this hat, I uh, made the video, the beanie video. It was called How to Knit a Beanie for Beginners, Step by Step. And I just wanted to share with you the beanie. And so it, I used this Hedgehog Fibers yarn. This is what it looks like. And I held it double-stranded, so I pulled one from the center of the ball and one from the outside of the ball. And this is just a small kind of beanie, and you can just fold the brim up just a little bit. And I love it. It's super cute. I love how it turned out. It's going to be a gift. It's not for me, um, but I love how it turned out. So. I made this one for myself and I just made it longer than the video and a little bit longer in the top of the hat also just to make it slouchy. So I used the same cast on and everything and I used two different kinds of yarn. In this one I used that mohair and sock yarn held together and this one I used just the sock yarn you know, pulling one strand from the inside and one strand from the outside, but it's the same basic pattern. So you should definitely check out that video. I'll put a link up above and um, make one with me because it's super fun. So, and it's really easy. Okay. So the next thing that I have is, okay, another pair of socks that I've been working on. Okay. So this one is Patton's Croy. And this is a yarn that I got from a big box store. I don't remember which one, but I just recently got it. I was in there doing, getting something and I saw it. And so it's Patton's Croy. This is what it looks like. And it's called Sidewalk Chalk Stripes. <laughs> so and it does kind of look like Sidewalk Chalk, <laughs> but yeah. This patterns croy. There we go. So I am on the second sock. I've just cast on and I've knit the ribbing and I am working down the foot. This is what it looks like, the first one, and I love it. I used um, this, I used this West Yorkshire Spinners as a contrast heel because it matched, I thought, pretty good. So and I'll link all of this down below, but I love how they turned out. These are just a winter pair of socks because I did like a tall one. I love them. Okay. And so let's see what's next. Oh, and this one I cast on a 64, um, 64 stitches. I did a two by two rib and then I knit however long I wanted to. And then, um, put in the waist yarn for the heel and came back and put the heel in afterwards. So, all right. Okay, and so the last thing that I have is this yarn that I spun. So I got out my spinning wheel. This one I spun on my sidekick. Um, it is called Foggy Day. Oops, let me see if I can get that to focus. Foggy Day by Loop. And I had this in my stash and I just thought I'm going to go ahead and spin. I haven't spun in a while. So it's like thick and thin and all of the things. So I thought I'd make like a nice chunky hat with it later on. So it's cute. I like it. Okay, so the next thing that I have is the Denver Crew video. And then I have a garden update. So stick around if you're interested. If not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.